Hey everybody, my name is Joe. Yeah, I am also Joe. Welcome back to Ness's Life recap episode. I think we're on like 14 or 15 now. I honestly <laughs> God, don't remember. It's a lot. It is a lot. Um, We've played a lot of games. We have. So this week we're recapping, as you can see on the sidebar here, Super Soccer Champ, Thunder Spirits, Spanky's Quest, Clue, and Legend of the Mystical Ninja. So let's get started. Super Soccer Champ, a uh, horizontal soccer game. Had some world teams. Um, they did have different stats, so it definitely affected the play. We found out Germany was faster than pretty much everybody else. Uh, graphically speaking? Uh, graphically speaking, I think it was pretty good, actually. Yeah, comparative. I mean, comparative to the other soccer games we've played thus far, oh, yeah. the graphics on this one were really good. Um, the sound was okay. Uh, it wasn't anything to write home about. The music, I can't shit, did it have music? It's been a while. Man, I should have went back and watched it. I don't think it had music. It, it didn't. It had the music when you scored the goal and your guy like say, ran by. He's I like, feel ah. like it's such a rarity yeah, that, we, that just, we would know. Yeah. Um, I do remember it now, yeah. when It does the animation when you score a goal and your guy's like running by the crowd and everybody's yelling, there's music. Um, gameplay was pretty solid. It was neat that there was a uh, co-op. You could be on the same team, which we tried out. Against the bot, and, and then the bot yeah. is really good yeah there's the, the scoring ah, yeah like the little cut scene there and it does that every time you score a goal um i do like you that, can't the, skip it by the way i do like that the refs and everybody when you foul man they flail around on the ground like like actual soccer that you see they're like oh my god i'm dead it's just hilarious um so yeah it was a really interesting game we we thoroughly enjoyed it uh neither of us are sports guys but we do tend to enjoy the sports games just because we're playing together uh so super soccer champ big thumbs up from me big thumbs up from me all right there you go next up thunder spirits horizontal uh side scrolling and shoot 'em up you played this one i did play this um, one i mean let's discuss it real quick what do you got you know graphics sound and music uh the graphics weren't bad i think there were a couple spots with slowdown but not many yeah uh sound I mean, it's a shoot 'em up. It was a shoot 'em up. I don't think it was anything special. <laughs> yeah, nothing to write home about. I mean, you got your lasers, your blasters, your mm-hmm. explosions, and everything else, but nothing, nothing particularly uh, past that. I do remember it used some weird noises, like one of the characters straight up just had the sonic like spring. Oh noise. yeah, the <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, be the yeah, that's noise. fair. The music was pretty decent. Um, I don't think it was standout exceptional over anything else that we've heard, but it was good. Mm. The gameplay was interesting. No, and this goes into what what my review of it is, which is a thumbs down. I don't think it did enough, good enough. Yeah. Um, what it did do, however, is it gave you these power ups, and you have five in total. Um, that you can switch through as it's needed and all of them are needed she died uh, <laughs> they definitely have different parts where it requires other ones like there's a spot where you have to blow some like of your weapons wall yeah you have to blow up uh, the wall and certain weapons won't do anything yeah um there is your mine weapon which drops <laughs> rockets straight up and down <laughs> there are different weapons which do different damage ones that do more area and less damage uh and then you can also change how fast you're moving which is also needed because there are moments yeah. where the screen will like move backwards or there will be screen hazard that you need to slow down for or there'll be moments like this where i need you need to be faster so that you can dodge the blocks and the lasers yeah it, was, it definitely had some really neat mechanics in it that it would be good to see <laughs> in other games i really um, liked the fact that it Gave you that freedom and not only the ability to choose, but, like, the fact that you had to choose between them at certain times. Yeah. The levels were also pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. Uh, But, yeah, I think just in the end, it's it's almost... The levels were almost too punishing to the point where they kind of didn't make it fun. Um, And the weapons... Being forced to switch the weapons is kind of a pain in the nuts. It's just that much more to keep track of. If you like a good challenge, it'd probably be a solid game for you. Um, and it's kind of neat that you have the option to speed up and down. So the only other one I think we've really seen that with was Gradius, 
you had the option for speed up, but you couldn't come back down from it until you died. So it definitely has some neat mechanics, but I also did end up giving it a thumbs down. So two thumbs down on Thunder Spirits. Next up, Spanky's Quest. So, um, Surprisingly fun game, actually. Yeah, it was entertaining. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Uh, so, I mean, as you can see from it, it's pretty simplistic, visually speaking. Like, It definitely doesn't stand out in my head as like, being visually impressive right on the other hand it does have a very unique art style (laughs) so i mean it does kind of stand out on that front uh also a very weird mechanic for gameplay so you bounce these balls off your head and then eventually they you hit another button they turn into a sports ball of some kind which does a massive damage um it is essentially a puzzle game kind of like lemmings you know you're just trying to kill everybody get your keys and get through the door and then there is bosses. Uh, Apple Macintosh was in there. So His name wasn't Macintosh. It was just Apple Mac. <laughs> Whatever. It's Apple Macintosh. Clearly. Clearly what it was. Um, I will say that some of the art styles for the bosses are absolutely from the 90s. Like oh, yeah. The big pineapple with like the triangular like sunglasses was pretty funny. The mohawk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot the mohawk. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's definitely a unique and interesting game. It was actually a lot more fun than than I expected. Mm-hmm. Uh, the music and sound aren't anything to write home about. Like the music's okay, but you're stuck with the same music throughout like the entire world. And then yeah, once so it, it switches world, it yeah. switches. It. So it's like Mario. And it's like level one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, right. one, five. And so all of level one has the same theme, but then it does change in world two. It gets a new theme, but you just it gets kind of repetitive, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty interesting game and definitely worth a look up. So, uh, thumbs up for Spanky's Quest. I also gave it a thumbs up. There you go. Believe it or not. Next up, <laughs> Parker Brothers Clue. Oh, dear. Clue. Uh, I mean, that animation right there should tell you all you need to know. <laughs> I mean, look. This falls into the oh. unfortunate genre of... It's a board game. Board games are better than video games when it's a board game. Yeah, like if you want to play Clue, go play Clue. <laughs> I <laughs> So, first off, everybody has to hand the controller around to play. Uh, Which I guess allows for, you know, six players. Yeah, but... you could do six legitimate players. But then to look at your cards, you have to be like, all right, everybody look away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, because there's only one screen. There's no kind of card for you to keep track of what you know in the game. You have to physically get a sheet of paper and write it down. The computer deduced the murderer well before any of us did. I had it as a possibility. Like we didn't did, even, but like that was it. It was like we didn't even know. We did, we were like, what happened? And we're like, oh, the computer won. What? <laughs> like it's just like bam, bam, done. We're just like, uh Okay. Um, the game plays very slowly because it's a board game. It's a roll and move board. I roll one die. Oh, I rolled a two. Two spaces. Two yeah. spaces. A oh, one space. It's uh, ah. Um. Visually, it's stark. It it looks like, and you weren't ever alive to experience these. It really reminds me of an old DOS game from a computer back in the early 90s. Like like The Dig? No, The Dig was way better. Uh, I mean, early DOS. Uh, well, not early, early, but earlier than that. Like, late 80s, early 90s, Leisure Suit Larry era, you know, 64 color, 256 color bit. You know, it didn't have the billions of colors we have access to now so it's a very limited palette um the animations are also very limited it, it's there and they obviously put some effort into it but it just wasn't a great implementation thumbs down for me for clue no i also gave it a thumbs down if you're gonna play clue go play clue with your friends last up legend of the mystical ninja or go mon <sighs> i'll start with this yeah uh, go for it i did not play a majority of it no we both played the first night or a majority of the first two player night. co-op so you can both play at the same time the issue with the two player co-op is if one of you does not move the screen is stuck yeah and there's a lot of characters that come from off screen 
and it, it is a punishing two-player co-op because of it. Yeah. If, so you know, that's <laughs> that's why I think we decided to. Yeah, we just, just stuck with one, one player, player after that. Um, it, it was neat to try. Right. And it's great that it's an option. But yeah, unless you and the other person are a hundred percent like mind linked, <laughs> you're gonna not, just kill each no. other a lot. Um, the sound was pretty good, I think, actually. Agreed. The, um, the sound was excellent. The music drew you in. It was very mm-hmm. well themed and put in there. Um, every weapon had kind of a different kind of you know noise it tended to make. I think this game exceptionally shines on the visual presentation. Mm-hmm. And it's cartoony, but it looks really nice. There wasn't slowdown that I noticed. Yeah, I think I only noticed slowdown like one time in it. Very little at that. But like, I mean, you can see it just here. Look at the effort put into the pixel art. Oh, the sprites were really good. Yeah. They put a ton of effort into like things like idle animations, uh, attacking, getting hit, yeah. all that stuff. The sprites are super awesome. Look, look at everybody. Every time somebody gets hit, Every single one has like a different facial reaction, like oh, their eyes bug out, or they freak, or they knock down, or and you know, like you said, there was an idle animation. Like if Goemon stands there, eventually he just goes, <sighs> you know, he's just huffing. Um, the colors, like I said, super vi- bright, vibrant. One of the more interesting gameplay mechanics is this guy right here. So you can, there are mini games inside the game, and some of them earn money. So like this is Whack a Mole. They have Worm, where you're just trying to run around this thing with a paintbrush and not run into your tail. Uh, one of the most impressive things is they put Gradius from the Nintendo Entertainment System in this game. So literally at one point, and we did find it eventually, you can spend a hundred in-game dollars and play a game of Gradius from the old Nintendo Entertainment System. And it's got the whole game in there, so you get to level up your powers and everything else, and it's just super impressive that they threw that in. Like, you know, we understand maybe the levels will get a little tedious. Here's some time killers. Earn some money in some of the games. Gradius is just for fun, but it's neat that it's in there. And actually, I didn't think the levels were that long. Like, I didn't think any of them were obnoxiously long. I do remember you had issues with platforming. (laughs) Well, yeah, we suck. That's kind of the big issue. The only thing that really shut us down was there was a stage where you had to get a pass, which cost like nine hundred dollars. Uh. And when we got to that stage, we only had like a hundred and eighty bucks, so you just had to sit there and farm. Now, thanks to save states, <laughs> uh, there's a you lot of gambling in this game. Jackpots. Yeah, stuff. and I was just like, I bet all my money. I won, save state. I bet all my money. I lost, load. I bet all my money. I won, save state. And just, you know, we went from 180 bucks to like 2,000 bucks real fast. Um, yay, save state. <laughs> but I mean, without that, that would have that would have been a good long amount of grinding. Uh, if I had to pick a gripe about this game, the hit boxes. The hit boxes are uh, in in these it's, areas here with the isometric view, the top down view. Because it makes their hitboxes still a square, and no matter what, yeah. if you're in that square, it doesn't matter if you're on the same plane as them. Uh, yeah, they hit you. On the, and, when, the and when you get y-axis. hit, your weapon downgrades, you lose health, you lose sandals, which you have to buy a buttload of to speed up. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. Mm-hmm. Um, but in these two-day areas right here, the, the hitboxes are fine. It's just in that top-down isometric time to view. Here's kind of a neat one. They implemented that background layer thing like in Super Mario World. Um, so, yeah. The game, you know, whether you like it or not, I thought it was an okay game uh, as far as playing it with it. You know, will I go back and play it? Sure, I'll probably play it again sometime. But I'm not like, oh, my God, I have to play that right now. Uh, but I definitely still gave it a thumb up because you could tell the amount of effort that they mm-hmm. put in this game. And it is one of the better known Super Nintendo games. You can tell why. And it is really good. I also gave uh, Legend of the Mystical Ninja a thumbs up. So there you go. Thumbs up for Legend of the Mystical Ninja. A complete cooperation this week. Mm-hmm. Um, two up for Super Soccer, two down Thunder Spirits, two up Vegas Quest, two down Clue, and two up Legend of the Mystical Ninja. So I am that's sort of neat. surprised for Thunder Spirits. Yeah. Because you usually give them a thumbs up. A shmup. But I also, I guess, usually give them a thumbs up. Like I said, I think that game, what what broke me down was just the level of difficulty. It it was so hard that it made you, made me at least not even want to play it. Um, I don't know. 
Maybe that's just me getting lazy. <laughs> Hard to say. So thanks a lot, guys, for joining us in this recap episode. Thanks for sticking with us. Um, and as we move into, I think, like week 15, uh, something like that. No, week 14. So this is the week 13 recap. Okay. I just remembered right. we're in week 14. So, so there you go. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Have a good rest of your day. See you guys.